Welcome to the Reference Check Guidelines Training, presented by HHSA HR's recruitment team. We appreciate your assistance. Conducting reference checks is an important step in the selection process. Since past performance is often the best indicator of future performance, references allow you to talk to past supervisors to determine if the applicant being considered is suited for the role. Let's get started. Reference checks can help you confirm information on the candidate's application and resume. You'll also gain greater insights into the candidate's skills, knowledge, and abilities from someone who has observed the candidate's performance firsthand. The following guidelines will help you establish an approach to reference checking that will allow you to collect necessary information about an applicant's job performance. It is preferred for a candidate to have three references consisting of two past employers and one professional reference. However, if the candidate is unable to provide a third reference, a minimum of two references, one past employer and one professional, can be used. If the candidate checked yes on their application granting us consent to contact their current supervisor, please do so. We need a supervisory reference of an employer that has supervised them within the last two years. If the candidate checked no and did not provide a sufficient reference, contact your reference team lead. If the candidate is an internal employee, reinstatement or rehire, please don't contact the reference. Please forward the information to your reference team lead. Identify yourself, your title, and organization name, and tell them you're conducting a reference check for a candidate you're considering. Ask if now is a good time to talk or whether they would rather schedule a call at a later time. These calls estimate to be about 10 to 15 minutes long, so if it's not convenient for them, schedule a time to call back. Provide a brief overview of the position being filled and let the reference know that you have the consent from the applicant and that the information will be kept confidential and not shared with the applicant. Give them time to answer your questions and let them respond. Do not cut them off or put words in their mouth. Probe if you need clarification on any statements that a reference has made. Complete the reference sheet that has been approved by Human Resources. This is the reference check form you will complete during your conversation with the reference. It is extremely important to get employment dates to verify information provided on the job application. Sometimes references may want to provide a time range versus the dates. However, we need the dates to assess if they supervise the employee within the last two years. If a reference doesn't remember the exact dates, ask them to provide an estimate range of dates. For the traits and performance section, we ask that you ask the question, allow the reference to answer, and then request a rating. If a reference provides positive feedback, but gives the candidate a below average, ask clarifying questions as to why they provided a below average given their feedback. If the reference states there were any performance issues, please ask for an explanation. Clarify if it was addressed with the employee and whether it had been resolved. Lastly, remember to sign and date before submitting to your reference check lead. Some agency policies do not allow the release of a previous employee's information or require a written request. We are unable to provide a written request. If a reference is not able to answer any of the questions, write NA in the box and contact another reference. The agency's preference is still to obtain references over the phone, as this allows us to probe and ask clarifying questions. However, if an employer requests to provide the reference electronically, please ensure to verify the source of the information. For example, receive emails where the address is from an employer rather than a personal address, or verify the source of the fax number online. If an employer completes an electronic reference and you have questions, please reach out to them for clarification. Please remember that emailing reference check forms electronically is only for employers, not professional references. If a reference does not respond by the end of the day, the following day, email them so they can contact you at their earliest convenience. If the reference does not have an email, call them a second time the following day and leave a message letting them know the reason for your call and if they can call you back within two business days. If you're having a hard time getting references to respond, contact the candidate and let them know you are going over their application and would like to request additional professional references, direct phone number of a current or past supervisor, or if they can reach out to their references to call you back. 
If a candidate does not respond within two business days, send them an email with a deadline to respond. If you've not heard back after the second business day, send completed reference sheet to your reference check lead. Upon completion, be sure to send completed reference sheet to your reference check lead. Remember, references must be completed within a week upon receipt. Please contact your reference check lead if any reference gives you any red flags, such as the candidate being unreliable, having job performance issues, or not having good working relationships with peers or clients. If you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to contact HHSA recruitment team at 559-624-8450. On behalf of the HHSA HR's recruitment team, thank you so much for attending this training. We appreciate your assistance in conducting reference checks. Any questions may be directed to the following email address, humanresources at tulerycounty.ca.gov. You may also contact us by phone at 559-624-8450. Thank you.